What's going on guys and I'm back today with another squad builder and today we're going to try out um, a 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one. and when we do a squad builder I'm going to try and vary the formation just to show you a, a wide variety and just to tell you my opinions on that formation because that can affect the team highly. So kicking it off we're going with Adler in goal, Elessue, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, the Portuguese, uh, Benfica left back, Santana and Naldo sent back and Danilo right back. Oh, to get a decent defence, Alessio, good attacking, defensively quite average. And quickly just to say that, um, excuse the red card and the lack of contract on Adler, I did record this after you play in them and get in the clips. So going into midfield, we have the five-star skiller, Quaresma, the Portuguese, who has been forgotten about in football, came on as a big star and then hasn't progressed as much as everyone thought. But he's got five-star skills in FIFA and altogether a decent player. Two CMs, we have... Um, Filippo Melo and we have in the other CM position we have Diego, I was forgetting his name there left mid we have Gaetan, centre attacking mid we have Schneider and Martinez up top, Martinez is without a doubt probably um, no actually Schneider is the star player I'm not going to lie to you but um, Martinez is the goal scorer in the team, Schneider does get involved, Charisma is quite average I don't think his work rates really help being in the right midfield position. I can't think off the top of my head what his work rates are, but he does seem to always be quite deep. But if you do get the ball to his feet, um, his five-star skills and a bit of pace is um, essential because that he can beat a player quite nicely. And he only goes for around 2k. Altogether, I think the team costs around 30, 35k, depending on consoles. And it is quite cheap for the start of the FIFA. And I did actually loan Snyder, so I don't have a real accurate pricing. Um, defense is average, probably the worst part of the team. Um, center backs are good, right back is good, but if they attack down the left, uh, attack or left back, Elisua, I'm probably pronounced butchering his name, but you know, um, you could get exploited. Midfield, uh, Felipe Melo is solid defensively and can attack when needed. Diego attacking amazing, four star skills, four star weak foot, I do believe. But defensively is quite poor and I did only have him on 8 chem because I didn't change him to a CM. I played him as a CAM. Snyder star player, uh, very agile, good dribbler, decent pace and can get you a couple of goals. And that is essential in FIFA this year, pace and good dribbling. Um, Gaitan left mid, unsung hero to be honest. Got a good delivery if you can get a couple of headers. Uh, quick, skillful and altogether quite a solid player for his price. And then up top we have Jackson Martinez who is an animal this year. Uh, finishing is not the best but you can score a number of goals with him. Strong and powerful. So overall I give him a 7 out of 10. The pluses are as fast, powerful, good striker. Snyder is an amazing player. Attacking position on the team is quality. And altogether the formation is quite solid. Um, it's the first time I've used it in this year's FIFA and I thought it was okay. Except it didn't really make good runs going forward. The weaknesses are as an average defence, Diego is too attacking for the CM position, Snyder at time is quite weak and the left back is poor. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce his name. But overall the best player was Snyder. I'm giving him an eight out of ten, four stars out of five and he is a real MVP. So I'll speak to you guys later. Bye.